Hey guys, well, welcome back to Purely Walking. Today we are exploring all about the desert in Morocco. So I'm going to show you everywhere we went in the desert area of Morocco. This part of our trip begins among some huge, swerving, rocky roads that we had to climb up. We were all scared, but the view was so worth it. You could see how winding this road was. Our first destination in this part of Morocco was the Todra Gorge which is a huge valley that in between the rocks is a small river. People actually go rock climbing up these walls. This is beautiful structure. You see majestic rocks, majestic rock formations here in this area. So it was a very nice place to be. We actually saw rock climbers on our visit there and it was truly, truly beautiful. This hotel we stayed at is called Chess Pierre. It looks rustic from the outside, but the rooms are just beautiful and the food is truly delicious. So I highly recommend this one. The next day we got to the Sahara Desert and it was so cool to have our Arabian moment with our camels and our Aladdin moment and there are our camels resting when we got to the spot where we were just looking at the evening fall it was so beautiful now this is very dangerous if you come by yourself because people have actually gotten lost in this huge huge desert we're talking about the biggest desert in the world Another thing you don't want to miss when you get here is to come for the sunrise. So we ended up sleeping in tents in the desert and coming up for the sunrise, which was such a beautiful sight. But the tents we stayed in were not any tent. We actually had tile floors, we had beautiful lighting, beautiful decor, it had, um, you know, towels, it had air conditioning, it had a full bathroom with hot water. So it had anything you really could need. Another really cool experience was to go off-road on a couple of jeeps. We had the opportunity to meet a nomad family and they live in tents that they make themselves. They live in the actual desert and they greeted us with such, such warmth. They actually get their water from this water hole and feed their animals from here as well. So this nomad family actually lives in these tents. Each one has its different purpose. One serves as a bathroom, one serves as a kitchen, and you get the idea. By the way, most of these textiles are handmade by them from camel hair because they need to have really warm things to keep them nice and warm during the night because at night in the desert it gets very, very cold.
our guide was just explaining to us that this is where they sleep. And it was so surprising for me to see that this lady was very organized. She had everything where she needed. She knew where everything was. And even though you see one thing piled on top of each other, everything is in its place. So that was very surprising to me. Also, we got to meet a group of musicians that actually gave us a full concert and had us dancing to their rhythm. They actually tried to promote the Berber culture, which was the first settlers of this area in Morocco. So this was a truly cultural experience. I think you would love it. I highly recommend it. Bye.